The holidays are over and you probably got a lot of great gifts, but how do you know if everything is real? Investigator Lewis Bolden teamed up with U.S. Customs officers who say beware of deals that may be too good to be true. Cheap um. plastic zippers, lining that crunches, mm -hmm. Leather that creases like this. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Officer Jennifer Kleiman Haga regularly has to keep stuff like this from being sold. The question is why? It's not real. Some of the items that we see a lot of in quantity is items like this, the purses. In Orlando over the past year has been um, jewelry and watches. CBP officers say just about anything can be counterfeited and most shoppers cannot tell the difference. These counterfeiters, they do a really good job. Out of this bunch of fake goods, we're looking at everything from fake designer bags like Michael Kors and Prada to bogus watches and even Otterbox phone cases. Consumers are paying they're getting like a 50 to 75 percent discount. It yeah. seems like a great deal, but it can be at the expense of the consumer's health. Take a look at this fake makeup. Um, there could be lead in here. There could be ground up sawdust. There could be rat feces. There could be all sorts of stuff. In here. That's why nationally officers are cracking down by intercepting shipments from overseas. They say close to 50 percent of the knockoffs in the U.S. come from China. And in 2015, customs officers seized over a billion dollars worth of fake products. I think it's the availability of things online. Shopping online is a growing convenience for consumers as well as a growing headache for CBP officers because it's another way counterfeiters can get your money. People will go online, copy a legitimate picture from um, a high-end department store and paste it into their website. Mm -hmm. So now they're, they're portraying the product looking perfect and people will see that and they'll say, oh, I saw that at name brand department store. Mm -hmm. This looks just like it. I'm going to buy this one. It's an ongoing fight with counterfeiters, and officers say the best way of keeping the knockoffs out is preventing them from coming in. Sometimes they really just think they're getting a great deal. Um, for the consumers, I would say buyer beware. And here are a few warning signs you can look for when shopping. Make sure everything that should be included is. Counterfeits often don't include manuals or product registration information. Also, flimsy packaging and labeling could be a sign you have a counterfeit. Lastly, try searching for serial numbers. Most real products have the number printed on them. I'm Lewis Folden, News 6.